Welcome back to Storytime. Today, I have another video for you, which is called A Little Spot of Honesty, a story about trust and integrity, written and illustrated by Diane Albert. But before we get started, subscribe and like for more videos like this. Let's get started. Hi, I'm A Little Spot of Honesty. Did you know being honest is more than just about telling the truth? It helps to show integrity and earns respect too. It also builds strong relationships and encourages people to be honest with you. That is why I'm here to show you some examples of how to be honest and true to yourself and others. Is all lying bad? What if the truth can hurt someone's feelings? I think it's very kind of you to not want to hurt in someone's feelings, but there are ways to do that without lying. It takes a little more effort, but all you need to do is find the positive in the situation. For example, you may not like someone's outfit or drawing, but you can always say something nice to say that is still true. I drew this for you. I like the green that you chose. How do I look? You look so happy. I like you seeing trying new outfits. A birthday party or a holiday is a great time to think about how to be truthful without hurting someone's feelings. Like if you get a present or you already have instead of blurting out, already have this try i really like to read this book will come in handy when i come across tough words how about when you play pretend like i said when my room covered in glitter scribbles but that didn't really happen is that okay absolutely using your imagination is so much fun as long as the other person knows you are pretending also it's important to learn the difference between real and make-believe. This helps you learn when you can exaggerate or when you should tell the truth. How about when you're joking? You might see that things are true. It's fun to be laughing silly, but when you joke, remember to let people know you're kidding. Look, I'm an apple statue. Just kidding. But what if telling the truth gets me in trouble? There are also times when telling the truth will be hard, but it's the right thing to do. In these situations, it's especially important to tell the truth because it builds trust. Trust is very important when building relationships with friends and family because it lets them know they can depend on you. You can also build trust by doing what you say you're going to do. If you agree to clean the table, make sure you're doing it without being asked. Another example is, when you're told to brush your teeth, you can do it without being asked again. It shows people you're responsible too. There may be times when you don't feel like doing something, like your homework. It is very important that you always do your own work. If someone does their homework for you, or you copy someone else's work, that is dishonest and called cheating. When you cheat, you don't give yourself a chance to improve and grow. When you are honest and do your own work, you're showing integrity. Ooh, look, I found a dollar. Finding something valuable can feel very exciting. Imagine you were one that lost the item. It would make you so sad. If you ever find something that doesn't belong to you, try to find the owner. You can be honest, even if no one else will ever know. You can practice being honest every day with your words. You can use this by learning the difference between talk and gossip. Talking is for great for sharing ideas, honest thoughts, and real experiences with people around you. Gossip. That's how rumors start. Gossiping is telling or, repeti or repeating stories that may or not be true. These stories could hurt or embarrass someone. Rumors can be really hurtful, because they can evolve quickly and spread fast. Lie, then rumor, and then another rumor, and then another rumor. I had to go to the dentist. Why were kids saying I went to the principal's office and got in trouble? Even if it was true, and he really was in trouble, it would have been right to share something that could embarrass another person. Do you know how you can squash rumors? The best way to stop a rumor is do not repeat it. Before you repeat anything, ask yourself, would you want other people saying this about you? Is it okay to talk to another person or tell something you heard? Great question. If you talk highly about someone, that's okay. Sharing how someone helped you is a great friend and is a kind thing to say. Here are some scenarios of what to tell and what not to tell. Truth. When should you tell? 
tell an adult immediately when you hurt someone, hurt themselves or others. Safety always comes first. To tell or not to tell. Don't tell secrets that might embarrass someone's or other revealing someone that was meant to be private. The last thing I want to talk about is being true to yourself. Not everyone will think you're the best artist or have the best style, but that's okay. We need diversity, and the world needs just the way you are. We need diverse ideas, diverse talents, and diverse perspectives. Be honest with yourself, and you will find your spot in this world. The end! I hope you enjoyed this story with me. Subscribe and like for more videos like this. Bye, reader friends! Keep on reading!